Your Wizards, today we're going to have an in-depth look into how to perform the squat correctly. A squat is great for quad, hamstring and glute development. So let's get to it. Right, so as we get to the starting position, we're going to look at the first thing before we actually execute the squat, which is the feet positioning. You want to make sure your feet are shoulder width apart. Now there's this big debate about whether you should turn your feet inwards, so they're directly facing it, or whether you should have them slightly pointing outwards. Either or, to be honest with you, I do it both ways, it all depends how I feel. What I, do, what I have noticed though, is that when I do shift my feet inwards, it isolates the quads more. So if you're looking to isolate your quadriceps a bit more, maybe point your feet facing forward. If not, have the feet out. So then what you want to do is now, you want to shift all your weight to the back of the foot, which is the heel here. You don't want the weight on your toes, you want it on the back of the feet, the heels. So when you come down, the pressure from the weight goes onto the heel. As we come down, you want to keep your back straight. Come down, keep the weight on your heels. You want to hit parallel. From here, there's more than enough hamstrings, glutes, and quad activation. A lot of people talk about going below the, below the knees, but I'm not really a big fan of that. I like to preserve my knees so I stop at parallel. Stop here, still keeping the weight on the back of the heel, keeping the back slightly arched forward. You want to be at about roughly 45 degrees. You don't want to be arched over like that. What I've seen a lot of the guys do when they squat is they either lean a lot forward as they come down, which isn't good for your back, or when they come forward, they put all of the weight on their toes. So when they come up, the heels start to raise. So they're squirting almost like that. You want to keep the weight on the back of the heels. You want to keep the back straight at all times while coming down. So when you're in, when you're in that parallel position with your legs parallel to the ground, you're at a 45 degree angle. So you should look like this, right? As you come up, come up, you stop just before the legs lock out. So there's a slight bend in the knees or the legs, not fully locked. Keep them slightly bent to keep the tension on the muscles. Come down. Parallel, heels, drive, up, stop just before you knock out. Boom, there. Finishing position. Come down here. Glutes, hamstrings, quads, activated, come up. Stop just before your legs knock out. You want to keep your feet planted to the ground, almost like you're rooting your feet into the ground. Come down, hit parallel, you drive up. Also what I do as well, is I try to stop my knees from caving in. So a lot of the time when people squat, what they do, what happens rather, is when they squat, the knees start to come in. I try to keep my knees pointed out, facing out, to engage the hip flexors. Boom, there, drive. Drive. And that's how you perform a squat properly, guys. So just to give you a quick breakdown of the points as we discussed today. First one, you want to keep your, show, your feet shoulder width apart. Secondly, you want to keep your back straight. So when you come down, you make a 45 degree angle at the bottom position. Thirdly, you want your legs to be parallel to the ground. You don't need to go below. Fourth, you need the weight to be shifted onto the back of your feet. So you're driving from the heels. And then the final tip is to make sure that your knees do not exceed your toes to keep the stress off of your knees. All right? Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you, re if you haven't already. Like and share this video if you found it helpful at all. Follow us across all the socials to stay up to date with all the latest Wiz Fitness activities. Until next time, guys, more fit, more life. Get Wizzy.